What's going on, everybody? It's Nice Pants Lance. We got one of the biggest, baddest muscle cruisers around sitting right in my driveway, and I'm gonna do a first ride on it. It's a 1999 Honda Valkyrie. That's right, we got a 1999 Honda Valkyrie here. It's got a liquid cooled 1500cc flat six motor, otherwise known as a boxer motor. As you can tell, this motor is so gigantic, the pistons oppose each other. So the motor sticks out about four or five inches from either side. It's, it's wild to look at. This is probably the biggest, baddest muscle cruiser I think I've ever seen. Um, and many of you know, I used to own a Triumph Rocket 3. And in my opinion, I think this motor it looks even bigger than that one. This bike probably weighs somewhere close to 800 pounds, but luckily it's got dual disc front brakes to stop all that weight. I believe this thing makes like 100 horsepower and 100 foot pounds of torque. Looks like it's got adjustable suspension in the rear. My favorite aesthetic of this bike is the six into six exhaust. The six into six pipes are coveted among Goldwing and Valkyrie owners alike. It's probably the best looking and the best sounding pipes I've ever heard. This bike is shaft drive, so no chain or belt maintenance. It's a six speed transmission. This thing looks comfy as hell, ready to tour. It does have a windscreen on it. I'm not a big fan of the windscreen, but you can tell what the intended purpose of this is. It's got seats all over the place, passenger backrest, rider backrest, saddlebags. This thing's loaded up and ready to tour. This bike is huge, but from what I hear, this thing can get up and go. So we're gonna test that. Any of you guys that really follow my videos know that this is my best friend's bike and uh, he picked it up about eh, two months ago. I made a video on it. Um, my best friend gets a muscle cruiser. Check that video out too if you want. Um, I'm just getting around to making a first ride on this. So let's get going. All right, let's do this thing. Key on the side. I guess you don't need to pull in the clutch. To neutral. <laughs> what? Man, I expected this to uh, shake, rattle, and roll being as large as it is, especially with a flat six motor. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is my first six cylinder motorcycle experience. Man, this thing like hardly shakes or moves at all when it's running. And if I was a deaf guy, I wouldn't even know if this thing was on. Okay, let me throw a leg over it. I'm six feet tall, 32 inch inseam. So this thing totally reminds me of my Rocket 3. But what? what? It felt like I had to move that shifter down a millimeter to put it into gear. That's crazy. It takes even less input than my Speed Twin, and I thought that was smooth shifting. All right, so right away, you can tell this thing's heavy. The bars are very wide. Um, the bars actually put my hands wider than my shoulders. the sound oh my goodness hands down the best sounding bike I have ever ridden wow 
Okay, back to business. So this thing's got mid controls. Definitely feels like it puts your body in a commanding stance. A lot of Harley Davidsons I've ridden were forward controlled beasts and um, this thing feels a little taller and a little more controllable. One, because of the, um, the slightly taller center of gravity of this bike and two, because it's got mid controls. Quite frankly, I wouldn't want forward controls on this because your leg would be resting on either side of the motor. So, the shifter lever itself is actually directly underneath the heads. Oh yeah, that just, that just, that just made light work of those railroad tracks and those are some of the worst tracks in this area. Wow. My goodness, the sound, holy moly. This thing sounds like an exotic car. And no lie, the power delivery is exactly how it sounds. It's velvety smooth. You can barely feel it moving underneath you. Okay. Um, not getting much feel in the brakes, but I will say the brakes are they're adequate. We got a really heavy bike here, so um, the brakes are okay. I wasn't giving it all it had, but um, but a bike like this definitely needs dual disc in the front, so. Honda did a good job putting the correct brakes on this. For $19.99, excellent brakes. Excellent brakes. Nice. Very nice. I will admit, um, I've always been a fan of big, tall cruisers. My Rocket 3 was probably, uh, was probably my favorite bike that I've ever owned. This definitely brings back memories of my Rocket 3. One of the few gigantic battleship sized cruisers that actually liked being tossed into corners. <laughs> wow. My God, the sound is just incredible. <laughs> so smooth so so smooth it's almost uh, unbelievable how smooth this is oh yeah a little smell of gas I love carbureted bikes it still makes 100 horsepower and about 100 foot pounds of torque That means it's enough where you could get it under 2,000 RPM and you can just torque along. But at the same time, you can rev this motor out and it doesn't run out of breath until you hit red line. this delivers power is, is so smooth and so velvety. Jeez, the sound. Already I've caught myself just kind of cruising casually down the road, looking at my speedometer and realizing I'm going way too fast. It's deceiving how powerful this bike is. Very deceiving. This really makes me want to get on another Rocket 3. And it also makes me want to do a 0 to 60. So I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, this ought to be fun. You don't even feel the motor moving underneath you. Okay. I mean, it's not too 
too bad. It's um, it just swiftly brings you up to highway speeds with no complaint whatsoever. Um, the torque really wanted to get that back tire spinning. out of my legs from the motor as expected this is liquid cooled but um, you can't get away from it when your shins are about two inches away from the heads you're gonna feel a little warmth my goodness this thing just oozes muscle look at that lean Okay, I grabbed the brake a little harder and uh, I take back what I said. These brakes are great. Wow, oh my goodness. What an addicting, intoxicating sound. This is only a 1500cc motor and it feels like a motor of a way larger displacement, it really does. Man, now I know what you Goldwing guys like about your bikes. <laughs> yep, you guys gotta do it. You Harley guys and B-Twin guys, if you've never ridden a bike with more than two cylinders, I'm telling you, it's, it's unlike anything else. You gotta give it a try. Even the low speed maneuvering ain't too bad. Yeah, really ain't bad. It's got low down torque. That power band is just so flat. In a weird way, it reminds me of my Triumph because of just how flat that torque curve is. This has got to be a showstopper right here. I mean, you, you pull up to the scene on this bike, you're going to have everyone asking you questions. Yeah, these brakes are okay. These brakes are perfectly fine for this bike. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it turns around its center of gravity very well because it's it's up high, but um, and it does hold a hold a long sweeping turn very well too. But I would not call this a nimble bike whatsoever. It's um, <laughs> it's still an 800 pound cruiser with wide bars and um, just a lot of mass to it. Suspension's great though. I'm sure if you adjusted it, you could really dial it in. Um, it's got really flat power, torque. It's um, the top speed isn't crazy. This definitely isn't a sport bike. This is no Rocket Three, but the punch of torque, the sound is intoxicating. It's it's really unlike any other cruiser I've ridden. Goodness. Yeah, you definitely feel that weight. This isn't really the friendliest bike for short people. There we go. Is that neutral? That is neutral. Incredible. Oh, yeah. You just want to take her home? Come on, man. 
Why'd you have to do this to me? <sighs> what up? What's going on? You made it out just in time. I was just gonna end the video. If you like this video, you wanna see more, give me a like, subscribe. Peace.